Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering 5th Grade Math. Here we're going to talk about writing whole numbers as fractions. We kind of already talked about this a little bit in the last section when we talked about the fact that every fraction that you've seen is really can be thought of in terms of division. So every fraction, whether it's one half or two fourths or eight halves or whatever, it's really numerator divided by denominator. That's what it represents. It's just sometimes those fractions you can do the division and simplify it. And sometimes, like one half, you can't really divide it, and so you just leave it written as a fraction. Well, in this case, what if I give you the number three, knowing, knowing that uh, fractions really represent division? How could I write the whole number three as a fraction? How can I write it as a fraction? For some reason, if I wanted to write the number three but express it as a fraction, how could I do it? Well, since I know that all fractions basically behave like division, I can write the number 3 as 3 over 1. Now when you look at this, and now that you know that fractions really represent division, if you take 3 and divide it by 1, and you just get the number 3. So the whole number 3 can be written as 3 over 1. Okay. What about the number 5? How do you write the number 5 as a fraction, if for whatever reason you needed to? Well, you could write that as 5 over 1, again, because 5 divided by 1 gives me 5. What if I had to write the number 8 as a fraction? I think you see the pattern here. You just take the number and you stick it over 1 because this is basically a division symbol right here. So any whole number that you have, you just stick it over 1. And it goes up. It doesn't matter how big your number is. If you want to re represent 11 as a fraction, it would be 11 over 1. If you wanted to represent the number 17, you can represent it as 17 over 1. So it's exactly the same as we talked about in the last section, because every fraction represents division. So anytime you have a fraction with something over 1, it's representing a whole number. And that's very important for you to remember uh, in your studies. Now if I wanted to go backwards, I can certainly go backwards. What if I were given this fraction, 16 over 1, and I was told to simplify this fraction, right? Well the first thing I'm going to try to do when I simplify a fraction is see, can I just divide the thing? and simplify it that way. In this case, I can see 16 divided by 1. Uh, of course, it divides evenly. It gives me 16. So to simplify this, I can just write the whole number 16 down. What if I were given 9 over 1, and I was trying to simplify that fraction? First thing I'm going to look for is to see if I can divide 9 divided by 1. And of course I can. I get 9. And then finally, what if I got something crazy like 34 over 1, and I wanted to simplify that fraction? So I just first try to divide. That's my first thing I do. And of course I can, anytime a fraction is over 1, you can simplify it by just doing the division, which gives you a whole number. Which leads me to the next thing that's extremely important. Now that you know that all fractions really represent division like this, what does this simplify to? 10 over 10. Again, the first thing you do when you try to simplify fractions is you look and you say, can I just do the division? Because all fractions represent division. 10 divided by 10, of course I can. I get the number 1. So 10 over 10, the fraction 10 tenths, gives me 1. Which makes perfectly, perfectly good sense to you because if I take a pizza and I cut it into 10 pieces, and then I take those 10 pieces, the numerator, and, I, and I, that's what I take for myself, I have 10 out of 10 pieces. That's the whole thing. That's the whole pizza. So it represents one whole pizza. Likewise, if I have uh, the fraction 6 over 6, what does that reduce to? Well, since all fractions are division, you can just simply divide that and get the number 1. And this makes sense in terms of pizza. If I cut a pizza in 6 pieces and I take all 6 pieces, I have the entire pizza. And finally, you can just continue going